You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Jonah, thoroughly fishy. Things in the book of Jonah are exaggerated, larger than life, or in some other way surreal. The word great, gadol, is used more than twice as often in Jonah as in the next most frequent book, about ten times the average for the Bible. Then there's the huge fish big enough to swallow a human being and Nineveh, a city of three days walk and then in chapter one there's the ship that requires payment and threatens to break up notice the language in verse three paid her fare, the ship's fare and verse four of chapter one the ship planned or thought to break up the Hebrew is not quite clear it's a rarish use of the word but it either means to think about or to plan and there's the plant in chapter 4 that grows up overnight and dies as quickly yep this is a book where everything is bigger than life but the most amazing sight in the book is in chapter 3 there we've had Jonah's sermon at only five words in Hebrew one of the shortest on record which produces spectacular results the sermon comprises the second half of verse 4 by verse 5 everyone in Nineveh big or small is busy putting on sackcloth as a sign of repentance in verse 6 the king hears about it joins in and adds ashes to the mix he then makes a solemn proclamation that everybody is to fast humans and animals as well from both food and water have you ever tried to stop a thirsty horse from drinking you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink but the reverse is almost as true and then verse 7 just when the poor Ninevite peasants thought it couldn't get any worse the weather remember was hot enough so that in the next chapter poor Jonah wants to die when his shade is taken away just when the poor Ninevite peasants think it can't get any worse the king also orders that all the animals be covered with sackcloth too cats and even chickens in sackcloth nappies oh no chickens were not kept in the ancient Near East at that time that's a relief for the Ninevites cats and camels are hard enough to dress in prickly nappies so the mystery of the genre of Jonah deepens from the first words listen to my earlier post we expected either a narrative or an account of prophetic revelation this book that started out so seriously has suddenly already by verse 3 or 4 of chapter 1 begun to hint that it's something else with a thinking ship that requires paying? At the very least these things are clues that we won't understand this book unless we bring our sense of humour along for the ride which of course makes Jonah dangerous reading for the Bible is at its sharpest when it makes us smile or laugh think of Jesus saying about the guy trying to assist his brother to remove a speck of dust that's blown into his eye with a dirty great plank stuck in his own. Go on, draw the cartoon in your mind. Sometimes, like in the prophets, the laughter is sharp. Think Isaiah five twenty two to twenty three. Ah, you who are heroes in drinking wine and valiant at mixing drinks, who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of their rights. I love that image of the Judean bosses as wine drinking heroes. And valiant drink mixers but I wouldn't laugh if I was one of them sometimes the laughter that points out our mistakes and our failures is gentle like when in Genesis 3 we spot ourselves in Adam who blames God for making Eve for him or Eve who blames the snake or when earlier their high aspirations eat the fruit and you'll become like gods knowing everything from good to bad says the snake they eat and suddenly they spot their naked and then the doorbell rings it's God who's popped round for a chat sometimes the laughter is gentle even while it points out our mistakes and our failures and our pretensions but nearly always in the Bible when we laugh we spot that we need to change or to mend our ways so having spotted that Jonah is a story that will make us laugh future episodes on Jonah had better carry a warning danger reading this story may prod you into changing or otherwise make your life uncomfortable
Bye for now. Do call back. See you.